Hello everybody, my name is Aon Kumar Das. In this video, I'll show you guys how to use markup chain to predict stock market. The stock market is a volatile system with a high degree of unpredictability. Markup chains and their associated diagrams may be used to estimate the probability of various financial market climates and so forecast the likelihood of future market circumstances. Our situation we can see that a stock market movement can only take three forms. Bull markets are times in which prices normally rise as the result of players' positive outlook for the future. Bear markets are times in which prices typically fall as a result of the players' negative outlook on the future. And stagnant markets are those in which there is neither a drop nor an increase in overall prices. In finance, markup chains can be used to model stock prices and predict future trends. Stock prices are known to be volatile and difficult to predict. But by using markup chains, analysts can make guesses about future prices based on past trends. To use a markup chain for a stock price prediction, we need to define the states and the probabilities of transitioning between them. For example, the states could be different price levels such as low, medium and high. Or they could be different trends such as upward, downward and sideways. Like the transition probabilities, we can use historical stock price data to see how likely it is for the stock to move from one state to another. For example, if the stock price has been increasing steadily for the past few years, the probability of it continuing to rise is likely to be high. Once we have calculated the transition probabilities, we can use them to predict future stock prices. For example, if the current price is in the medium state and the transition probability is suggest a high likelihood of moving to the high state, we can make an make a guess that the stock price will rise in the future. Consider the following patterns from historical data in a hypothetical market with markup properties. There is a 90% probability that another bullish week will, will follow a week defined by a bull market trend. Furthermore, there is a 7.5% possibility that the bullish week will be followed by a negative one. And a 2.5% chance that it will stay steady. Following a bearish week, there is a 80% likelihood that the following week will be bearish, and so on. So it's important to note that this is a simple example and, and that real world applications of Markup chain mod models for stock price prediction are much more complex and require more extensive data analysis. If you have liked my video, please comment, share and subscribe my channel.